So again, I need to be very clear here. Okay, I, in fact, I'm gonna make this a separate segment. I'm gonna make this a separate segment here because this one, you know, this one's it's good enough to be a separate segment. So, Jimmy Dore on the General Strike Summit, right? This is a this is the General Strike Summit. We're talking about the General Strike. We're organizing a General Strike. So, what's the biggest thing? And like when you think about how like mm, you know making sure that people who lose their jobs can be taken care of, making sure they can feed their families, health insurance, right? When you think how are we going to feed people? How are we going to make sure that people are not you know that they're warm because it's getting into winter time and they're going to be on strike? How are how are we going to make sure that we get a general strike tomorrow? Well, I know. Let's get Jimmy Dore on the show so that he can lie about vaccines. Let's watch. Oh, just how crazy that is because study after study keeps showing that the vaccines don't stop you from transmitting the virus and That's they don't untrue. stop you from getting it. That's untrue. So this idea So again, the world is not binary. I'm breaking news fact. The world is not binary. It's not the vaccine gives you 100% protection and you'll never get it or the vaccine doesn't do anything. That's not the world we live in. The vaccine significantly reduces transmission and hospitalization and breakthrough infections, right? So let's get this straight. If you get infected and you are vaccinated, your body will fight the infection faster and you will be transmissible and contagious less often than someone who's unvaccinated. So let's you go, say you go to the grocery store, right? And let's say you're in the checkout line and we know, we, you know, the checkout line sucks, right? <laughs> let's say the three people ahead of you don't have masks on. And let's say you like, you know, slip your finger under that or scratch your something, and you get COVID for a little bit. You're vaccinated, right? Now, let's say you go back in the car, right? And your, your brother is unvaccinated or something. You take your mask off because you don't really think about it. And then your brother gets COVID. Is that possible? Sure. Right. But let's assume, right, you kept your mask on in the car. Let's assume your brother who's unvaccinated is vaccinated. He's probably not even going to get anything. Right. So, again, it's all about harm reduction here. Right. It's all about me. And again, it's not like it's like, oh, like two percent harm. Redu it's like 90 fucking percent harm reduction. OK. So, again, the idea that the world is binary, either you get vaccinated and you're 100 percent protected or you got vaccinated and it was a dud, man. This whole fantasy world is so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. But again, this is how you organize a general strike. Some you get Jimmy on, Jimmy Dore on to be an anti-vax moron. That you should. You, by, and by the way, we're also all going to get it. So if we're all going to get it, who do you give a shit who you get it from? It's never going away ever. What? 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 Like, uh, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. What? Like I. And look, this this stupid fucking loser is laughing. Oh, <laughs> we're all gonna get corona. Oh, we're all gonna. What? Everyone's gonna get a deadly disease. So let's encourage people not to be vaccinated, so that when they get that deadly disease, that they die easier, right? Okay, let, let's assume in the fantasy world that COVID vaccines don't give you any protection from transmission. That's not real, but let's assume we're in that fantasy world. Is he also saying that breakthrough infections and hospitalizations are equally the same as well? Or like, like, so like, let's assume everyone gets it. Wouldn't it be better if everyone's vaccinated so no one dies or people die less often? What? Right, and then these two stupid motherfuckers are like, hell yes, this is how we get a general strike. Just like the other coronaviruses that are flus that are seasonal, these this also is never going away. And the adult people catch the flu twice every decade. And so if you live another 10 years, you're going to get coronavirus. So you should prepare for it. And we're not telling you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You should prepare for it. All right. That's, I'm glad Jimmy said that. We should prepare to get the coronavirus. Now what? Think about it. What would be the best way to prepare for getting that coronavirus? Would it maybe be getting a vaccine? Maybe? Anyone? Uh, and But there have these mandates that make no scientific sense. And then they also split workers. And they make us, I'm not going to, let me tell you something. Uh, 200,000 people more would be alive right now if we had Medicare for all. And that's who we need to keep our eye on. The oligarchs who are denying us health care. Uh, and and but they want and, and if you find yourself 
uh, blaming a school bus driver or a nurse's aide or a teacher for for this coronavirus pandemic and your economic destruction because of the lockdowns, then you've been propagandized. And you need to... Now, again, socialist MMA feels like he's discovered the whole universe. Like, he's just, like, you know, woken up from a mushroom trip and realizes, you know, hyperdimensions exist, right? Like, look at him. Like, holy shit, bro. Again, the, it, it, like... I, I don't even understand, like, what this guy is even saying. So it's impossible for individuals to do bad things because the system that we live under is bad. So a bus driver who has COVID coughing on, on, on students or whatever, or, like, you know, fa like, people, like, maybe it's, you know, just a public transport, right? Like, coughing on people, just, like, that. that's actually not bad because if we had Medicare for all, those people... What? What? Like, I just, like, really... But socialist MMA is like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, this is big brain. Blaming a school bus driver or a nurse's aide or a teacher for, for this coronavirus pandemic and your economic destruction because of the lockdowns. So, okay, lockdown. Now, again, is he going to say, like, he the system is bad when it comes to Medicare for all, but the system being bad when it comes to lockdowns is actually, no, it's just lockdowns are bad. Huh? Maybe if we did a actual lockdown and we had food delivery, pharmacy delivery, everyone's basic needs were met because people could just get things delivered and the people that do delivery uh, services were all severely uh, taken care of when it comes to, uh, you know, vaccines, uh, personal protective equipment, etc. Maybe they all do deliveries in separate areas, that kind of stuff. Right. That's actually not possible um, because lockdowns are economic disrupt. Like this guy is literally pulling pages from right wing talking points lockdowns are bad what what then you've been propagandized and you need to get your head out of your ass because they're, they're those are not your enemy your enemy are the people who are keeping you from a living wage people who are locking you down and not paying your salary like the rest of the western world did keep so is now now Jimmy is in support of lockdowns in the other Western world? Okay, they don't. They want us to take our eye off the ball, which is the oligarchs. So I'm not going to take my eye off the oligarchs who are denying us everything right now. And it doesn't matter which party's in power. Keep your eye on the oligarchs because they control both parties. It's one party with two right wings. They're wow, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm so confused by this shit. Like, I'm real. I'm really, I'm genuinely confused why you would bring an anti-vaxxer on the General Strike Summit to talk about how vaccines are actually bad for you and they don't do anything, right? Why would you allow that to happen, right? Right? And now again, is it possible, right, that people individually can make bad decisions and also that oligarchs control the fucking economy? Are both of those things possible? Yes. Right now, what should we focus on? You can make that, you know, you want to only focus on oligarchs, whatever. Personally, I think that you're not doing a great job focusing on oligarchs if you're being an anti-vaxxer, right? Because that's like, you know, oligarchs love that shit. The idea that there's anti-vaxxers fucking around, killing each other for fun, that's entertainment for the oligarchs. They're turning on TV, they got their popcorn, they're like... Right? Like, they're having a great time watching this shit. Right? It's very possible that individuals can make bad decisions under capitalism. And it's also possible that capitalism is a bad system. Right? And so when individuals make bad decisions, like choosing not to get vaccinated because they listen to Jimmy Dore, it should be encouraged to try to point them in better directions so that they are less vulnerable and so that they are less likely to hurt other people. That is something that we should encourage. Jimmy Dore says, no, if your cousin is racist, that's fine because the system is what made them racist or what. I don't understand this at all. I really don't. I don't understand this at all. Like the lockdowns were not bad because they're lockdowns. The lockdowns were bad because we didn't have grocery delivery. We didn't have salary covering. We didn't have pharmaceutical delivery so that, you know, people would be fine, right? So that when we did have these lockdowns they lasted for a week things weren't actually locked down because all the stores were still open except for restaurants or whatever right it was just like I, like I, like the historical revisionism i think is, is just incredible but anyway i'm done talking about the general strikes time i'll talk about more tomorrow because this is this is like some real real good entertainment um 
But uh, Lord have mercy, man. Like I, like, I love when they do these because it's just so fun. Like, that's my whole show. Just making fun of Jimmy Dore and Socialist MMA. That's the show. That's a good show. That's a good fucking show, man. Holy hell. Yeah, I'll do, uh, not me. I'll do your clip tomorrow. Man, it looks off. Oh, Jackson Hinkle was on. Oh, fuck me. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo, tomorrow. I'm going to I'm going to cover some more of these tomorrow, folks. Oh my god. This is great content for me. Your take that this is lore building is spot on. Oh, it's absolutely lore building. Because the general strike's not going to happen. And they did the general strike summit. So for the next eight months, right? They're going to be talking about, oh, when we did the general strike summit and then it didn't work because, you know, Hassan Piker and TYT.